Hi there. If you are like most Texans, you have been cooking more than ever before. And if you've been to the grocery store, you've probably seen that beef is in high demand. A lot of folks are stocking up their freezers with beef, and that might mean that if you make a trip to the grocery store, you might not find the exact beef cuts you want. I'm registered dietitian Shailene McNeil, and I have teamed up with the go-to experts on beef, the folks at BeefLettingTexans.com, to bring you some easy recipes that work well when you need to have choices of beef to choose from in the meat case. So we're gonna do a four-way slow cooker shredded beef. I love this recipe because it uses a slow cooker, so it's very easy, first of all, and I know that makes it a lot easier on the cleanup, which I don't know about you, but I feel like all I've been doing is loading and unloading the dishwasher these days. And it also uses a shoulder roast cut, but one of the things that I like about this is that if you can't find a shoulder roast cut, you could use a chuck roast, or a brisket, maybe you have one of those in the freezer that you can pull out. A lot of beef cuts really well work well in a slow cooker. Now, you're gonna season it just so simply with a little bit of salt and pepper. I like browning it after I seasoning it with a little bit of olive oil. That works great, it brings out those uh, beefy flavors, but you don't have to. You can also take then a fresh chopped onion, you put that in the bottom of your slow cooker, just like I've done here. A little bit of fresh minced garlic, you kind of put that in. This is so simple, you guys. All you do is take your shoulder roast and just plop it right into your slow cooker, put that lid on, turn it on high for about five hours. If you want to go a little bit longer, what you can do is put it into a slow cooker uh, before you go to bed and leave it at nine hours on low and it'll work really well that way too. After it's done cooking, you can come over to your slow cooker and oh my gosh, this is just smells delicious and it's literally just falling apart when I have split out of the slow cooker. I want to show you the shredding technique because it could not be any easier. You just take two forks, pull it apart like that, and you get this nice, delicious, juicy shredded beef. It's so wonderful. Now, I like to freeze this. I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it, and that works really well for a quick, protein-rich ingredient to pull out for a quick meal. But tonight, we're gonna take you on a world of flavors with all kinds of a worldly inspired recipes. You can take your shredded beef that you made, that, remember that roast is two and a half pounds, so you're gonna get quite a bit of beef there, and add in your favorite tangy barbecue sauce. Just a ready-prepared barbecue sauce. Mix it up, that works really great. Put it into a whole wheat roll with a little bit of crunchy coleslaw and a fresh watermelon, you have a delicious barbecue-themed meal. You could do Asian night, we love doing Asian night, where you do a lettuce wrap. Just take a little bit of teriyaki sauce or maybe some poison sauce works well. Mix that in, get a nice juicy shredded beef that you put into a lettuce wrap with some fresh carrots, a little bit of crunchy peanuts, love that. We'll also do a Mexican themed night. You, know, you could add to any salsa you like. I like using these fire roasted tomatillos that I mix in with the shredded beef. Just anything ready prepared, keep it easy. We'll do tacos. Taco night, never fail on taco night. And this shredded beef goes great in a, in a taco. An Indian themed dinner where you take a tomato based Indian sauce and kind of mix it in with your shredded beef, that works great. You can put it onto um, a flatbread or a naan and then top it off with some fresh carrots. I paired it with smoked snow peas, it's delicious that way. I love all these ingredients because you really start with one basic ingredient and then make all kinds of worldly inspired meals with this. Another tip that I found so helpful on beeflovingtexans.com is their recipe generator. This is where you can go in and put in the cut of beef that you do have on hand and any ingredients that you have on hand at the house and it'll show you a recipe that works with that. That's been so helpful, especially now when we're trying to reduce food waste and go easy on the budget. It keeps me out of the grocery store as much. So don't forget about using beeflovingtexans.com as your resource when you're looking for beef recipes and inspiration. Thank you so much for joining us.